Hi guys, I'm Helena and I'm a senior and if I were to give advice to a freshman, I would tell them to utilize the resources that they have. So for instance, if you're having trouble with econ, go to the econ tutoring hours. If you're having trouble with writing, go to the writing center. I've done it and it's not intimidating and if anything, it makes you feel more confident and gets you better grades. Um, another piece of advice is that it's okay if you haven't found your friend group yet. It might take some time, but just continue to work on yourselves. Hey guys, um, so something I would want to tell myself if I went back to freshman year is to really have fun, um, to work hard but play harder. Um, I think I focused too hard on the first part where I worked too hard in college, um, but I always say that um, you should play as hard as you can if you get your work done. Um, people often forget the first part but um, and only do the second, but I think the biggest regret that I have is that I focus too much on my GPA and career. Um, and honestly, now that I'm about to graduate, I can say I don't mind if I lost a few letter grades because I was out playing with my friends. And that's just how I feel. Um, but study hard, yeah. Hi guys. So one advice that I have for college students is to be actively engaged in your community, whether that's through ICF, church, or any other Christian organizations, because community is so important in a Christian life. And that's how I was able to mature in my faith and meet other brothers and sisters in Christ who truly love God. Um, I think tips are, I know it's hard, but I think the best tip I could give as a senior is um, I really do think friends are important in college um, but I've noticed at least for myself that when I um, was too invested into so many friends that I was um, getting held back on my schoolwork so I think um, learning a good balance of playing with your friends and having fun with your friends and creating memories with your friends but also um, finishing your schoolwork and um, getting good grades throughout school um, so I think if I was a freshman that's what I would like to hear um, somebody telling me because I surely did um, do bad in a couple of classes because I would go out and skip class and go out and get lunch with friends or something like that so um, yeah. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm a graduating senior. Some advice. Guess something important that I found after everything was that like yeah grades and GPA and studying hard are all important, but I think like playing and having fun and making memories with your friends and experiencing new things like those are all just as important if not more hey guys thank you for a great four years at icf i still remember the first time i met many of you guys it's been a great four years it goes by fast that's for sure um if i had to give one word of advice to you guys i'd say to have no regrets right I remember the first time I was changing my majors and going through that process, I remember sort of letting outside influences kind of guide my decision making. But at the end of the day, I mean, the best thing to do is trust in yourself and trust in God, right? I, and and at, the, and at the same time, um, the peace of God, which transcends all human understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. favorite memory at ICF has to be at Valentine's Day banquet when you guys all sang me happy birthday. That was super sweet and you guys are just truly the best. A moment that I'm thankful for that I remember from ICF is I guess just getting to know David Kwan. Um, I think over the years I got to really know him and I learned to admire and to respect him and love him. Um, it's not easy doing ministry and it's not easy to do something for five years straight. Um, and that just shows his love and his care for his sheep um, and to really he really lives that commission to really share the gospel and to live a life um, to serve others and for that I respect David a lot and um, yeah and one of my favorite memories at ICF is going to cross conference with some of the ICF people I just had a really 
great time and we got to visit David Kwan's house in Kentucky and I also got to see John Piper and David Platt in person. My favorite memory, um, I don't have one, but my favorite memories um, are when we would always go to ICF for, or when we would always go to IHOP for after um, large group meetings. Um, I've got tired of I IHOP honestly because we went every Thursday night or every Thursday night for um, large group meetings but those are honestly like the best memories that I have and now that I'm graduating I look back and um, even on snapchat like the one year ago two year ago memory things that come up and I see um, the recordings that I have from when we were all at ICF and just having so much fun and just being in the company of each other and just creating those memories that was the fav that was my most favorite memory my favorite memory in ICF would probably be Christmas banquet or senior banquet my freshman year or our oh this one time we had a freshman hangout with my class freshman year and it was really fun um, or any of my small groups freshman year honestly like freshman year was really good hey ICF Chris here um, yeah hope you guys are all doing well amidst quarantine uh, so honestly, I don't really know what I wanted to say because it doesn't actually feel like I'm already graduating and time just flew by so quick. But looking over the past two years, I think I'm just so thankful and so blessed to have had this fellowship to come to. I'm um, just a place where I could worship with others and um, be a part of the community and really just um, make friends and have accountability because that's something that I really had a hard time finding over at Nova. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to express how thankful I am because I think those Thursday night worships, Thursday night uh, large groups and praise nights and meetings with the outreach team, shout out to you guys, um, were just some of the best moments I, I've had at Mason. and. Yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm really thankful, but I'll miss you guys. I just want to say that ICF has been such a blessing in my life. I've met so many genuine people there, and I just want you guys to keep working hard, and I wish you all the best of luck. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed my time at ICF. Um, I made many friends, um, enjoyed my time at Fenwick and JC. Um, really grew closer to people, um, found some great friends that I can do life outside of college with. And yeah, and that's all because of ICF and I thank ICF for that. Um, I'll be on the other side as an alumni, so keep in contact. Um, don't message me if you don't have to though, <laughs> I don't like that. Um, but if you need help with like career or advice, then I'm always free. Um, if you have my number, text it. If you don't, don't ask for it. Just message me on Facebook. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for a great time in college and hope to keep in touch with you guys and see you guys soon. Um, throughout my four years at ICF, I made so many great memories and met so many amazing people. And I was able to grow closer to God in so many ways that I didn't imagine. Um, and I hope that this ministry will continue to grow and continue to be a blessing for many, many people. So I just wanted to say that looking back, I'm glad that I had ICF throughout college. Um, I think ICF played a huge role in my life and I um, encourage anyone, you don't have to be Korean. I'm not fully Korean, so you don't have to only be Korean to join ICF. Um, but having those brothers and sisters in Christ and really doing college with you and doing life with you um, really helped and encouraged me to at least go down uh, the more Christian path than I would have gone if I didn't have ICF in my life and it really taught me um, different life lessons throughout my time in college and I just wanted to say thank you um, to all of you and all the friends that I've made and all the new friends that I've made um, and I just hope that you guys reach out to me um, if you guys ever want to eat something and I'm in the area just hit me up and I'll buy you food um, so yeah thanks <laughs> thanks for everything thanks for being a good group of boys and gals to hang out with and laugh with and stuff um, and even though I'm 
no longer an ICF member does not mean I'm not, I can't be a sister in Christ or a friend. So message me on Facebook or Instagram, friend me, follow me, whatever, like, you know, the whole works. Um, and like, we can talk and laugh and hang out after quarantine. So yeah, goodbye.